Thallium was discovered in 1861 by William Crookes, an English chemist. The etymology is derived from the Latin word thallus, which means green branch, because the spectrum line has a clear green line. It is said that the time of discovery was spring when branches sprouted. Poisoners poison because it is a very toxic element. At the time of discovery, there was a national dispute with the French chemist Rami over who discovered it first. However, it is said that both are now recognized as discoverers. The exterior is a soft silvery white metallic element. In humid air, the surface immediately turns black. So it is preserved in petroleum or glycerin. Thallium sulfate or thallium acetate was also used as a rat poison or antiseptic. Due to its toxicity, it is now prohibited to use because it is often fed to humans. It is said that if a person inhales or touches the skin, it can also lead to hair loss or mental disorders. LD50 half death dose is only 0.8 grams for adults, and they die around two weeks after taking it. It was widely used as an assassination poison because symptoms did not appear immediately after taking it. Saddam Hussein of Iraq famously assassinated a political opponent using thallium. Thallium has similar properties to potassium, a vital element. So, when it enters the body, the enzyme activated by potassium ions is affected by thallium, which inhibits its activity. In other words, symptoms such as coma or hair loss occur and lead to death. In the Song of Ice and Fire, the tears of poison Li come out, and the description is similar to thallium.